I will never hit any careless shot again. How about that for Golf Legacy episode? I'm Edouard Montaz, the European Director of Wisdom in Golf, back again for this show that I love so much. Uh, thank you so much for all the comments you give me and all the support you give me. It's really important. I'm here in Paris, France, uh, in the center of Paris, and I'm so happy to share my love of golf with you guys and to help you improve in your quest of effortless, powerful, target-bound action golf. <laughs> So today is an amazing episode on Byron Nelson, who was well, also uh, the opponent, but the a friend of Ben Hogan, okay? And Byron Nelson is an inspiration because of this sentence, I will never hit any careless shot again. And back in 1945, he has a switch in his mind when he won 11 tournaments in a row and 18, 18 tournament and only this year, it's enormous and never, no one yet broke this record. Maybe Tiger one day, but <laughs> we have to fight for this, but it's going to be a tough record to beat. And this sentence, he, he told this sentence because he was driving the ball so well at this time that he was sometimes getting bored on the golf course. And when he was getting bored, he was not focused anymore. So what he meant for us in Wisdom in Golf and what we understand of the sentence, careless shot means that you have, you're not, you're blacking out. You're, you don't stay with your target. So, when you're not careless, you are staying with your task and staying with your shot. And for me, in the mental process and the mental game of golf, that is the most extraordinary way to think uh, your way on the golf course. So let me give you an example of a blackout you can have. And we all had this one because when we all, we used to ask to Sean this question all the time and he always answered the same. Uh, what is the biggest uh, mistake amateur golfers make? And sometimes good players also. <laughs> and Sean always says, they're trying to hit the ball. And you see, when, when he said this in, on the podcast or on the, the interview he has, people like, they, you have a silence after this, this sentence because they don't understand. Trying to hit the ball, I don't understand. Yes, people try to hit the ball instead of swinging to a target with the ball in the way. Big, big difference because if this little white ball that we love so much becomes your target, all your energy is going to go at the ball. You're going to miss it. You're going to um, hit fat shots, top, a pull, hooks, whatever you want, you name it, okay? Because you are delivering your action th this way and you are delivering your action into the earth and it, it is the wrong ball. <laughs> so, being not, to, to don't be careless means that you are always, um, we can talk about Monorman, Monorman, alert. You have an alert on the golf course. Where do I want to ball, the ball to start? Where do I want the ball to end? Okay, you have a flight plan. In this flight plan, you can really explain it in three dimensions. Start of the ball, apex of the ball, the height, and end of the ball. And if you want to go further, if, if for example, you have, you have a seven iron, you have a flag at one, uh, 150 yards, for example, it depends where you hit the seven iron. You have a flag stick, a flag on the right of the green, Okay, you have much space to start on the left of the flag. So let's get from here. I see the shot there, big space on the left. So I see, for example, a fade that starts middle left of the green, fade, go high at the level of the trees, for example, and drop back left edge of the flag and spins and go into the hole. So did you see how much the flight plan was clear into my mind. And the more the flight plan is clear, the more you're going to be successful in your golf game. If you look at the ball or you, you look at your target and you say, I want to go there, someplace there, it's not specific for your mind. And I tell you, because I've, d I've done it before, <laughs> this is really specific for your mind. And you're going, to, you're, going, you're going to always release to the ball, add the ball, sorry, and you're going to get really pissed off with your game. So, first, flight plan, okay? Fade, high, 
draw low, whatever you want, but a flight plan. And trust me on this, it's way easy to hit a curved ball than a straight ball, and we'll, we'll get this to another episode. But let's say I have a fade to it. I take my setup, I feel comfortable in my setup, it's really important, it's the key to let it go, okay? And then, example I can give you, I have my backswing, and then I hear a little noise. <laughs> well, I don't play with the crowd, so it can be a noise in the forest. And my minds get to the noise, and then I come back and I, I blacked out. So I go back to the ball and hit the ball. That is a brain fart, that is a, a short circuit, and I, I didn't stay with my shot. And when you get good at this game of staying with your shot, okay, you will not hear the noise around you because your brain is ready for this. So, staying with my shot means this. Left edge of my uh, uh, white ribbon here. I stay with it. Wow! I've stayed with it till the end. And I can see my nice fade on my GC quad. You see, 167 carry. So for me, it's a wonderful seven, seven yards, huh? <laughs> seven iron. For you, maybe it's more, and it's great, <laughs> okay? So for this example, did I stay with my shot? The answer is yes. And that's my only chance on a golf course. If I black out, example, target, target, and now hit the ball. In your judgment mind, if you see the ball go low and left and top like this, you're gonna say, I did, a wrong, I did a wrong shot, it's not good, it's bad, I'm, I'm a poor golfer, golfer and you're going to go hard on yourself. And it's not true because if I ask you the question for this shot, did you stay with the shot till the end of your swing? And you say no, every shot are good. So in other words, you cannot make mistakes. <laughs> if you black out, the ball can go anywhere, and anywhere is good. Another sentence for you, if you discover my channel today and Wisdom in Golf with Sean, uh, you used to try to reach positions in your, with different teaching philosophies to hit the ball better. Now we speak about target and it's new for you. So welcome here and welcome to the uh, safe place because this is the way golf is supposed to be learned. Okay, I'm sorry because in this game, you always hear there's no truth, there's many truths. I don't bear with this because this brain here is designed to react to his environment and to tasks. That's it. All the, all the neurological uh, doctors will agree with this. We're not designed, we're, we're, not, we're not Pinocchio, okay? We don't have strings that place us. We are already Pinocchio without the strings, and that's great. So if you have a task, if you have a flight plan, you will improve in your golf game. Uh, I guarantee you this, okay? Since today, I hope. So, second shot, I blacked out. Another way you can black out in your swing is, is your, when your setup is not good. For example, I want to hit a fade, and I put my ball in the back of my stance. And you can see from this place, if I heave the club up, that when I let gravity place my club, you have an arc. There's no straight lines in the golf swing. So if I let my club fall, the ball is going to start right. So wrong ball position for the shot, short circuit, I want to try to hit the ball. But if you proceed to have a flight plan, have a good setup, and we will come back to this in many videos. Don't be, uh, don't be inquiet in French, don't be scared, we'll, we get to this. The only chance you have right now is I'm staying with the, the beginning of my target and with my shot no matter what and let's see what happens. The only pressure you have to have in your mind, it's not pressure but kind of pressure, is let's see what happens. Okay? You're like a kid experimenting something. Okay? You're not trying to have a result. You're trying to have a path to lead you to a result. That's a good golfer. So I'm going to stay with my shot, no matter what, stay with it, stay with it. Second wonderful fade, 161 yards carry, blessed, okay? Let's play a draw. Ball back in my stance, close the face a little bit, get behind the ball. You will all see this in the, the technical aspect further in other episodes. I'm gonna stay with the right edge of my ribbon, white ribbon here, no matter what. Wow, 
yes, I can put my hand in the fire right now, I've stayed with this shot, and I have my draw. So that's how, when I've discovered Sean Clement on YouTube a long time ago, that's how he changed my world, okay? And that's when I started to believe that I can be a wonderful golfer, and I am today proud to say that I am a wonderful golfer at my level as a teacher because my swing is never, I never lose my swing. Day in, day out. Sometimes I miss shots because I'm, I'm a bit tired, I black out like you. But my swing is always here. You see what I mean? Because my focus is always here. So the more you are tied in your focus, let's hit a low draw for example. Back in the stance, club in the center, close the face a little bit more. Back behind the ball, low seven iron, right edge. Do I feel comfortable in my setup? Yes. What is my task? Staying with my shot no matter what. I'm not careless today. Let's go for Byron. Low draw, let's see in the GC quad. A little bit left, but what a compression, what a contact. 157 carry. Let's hit a high, big high fade. Still with this club. I see the ball start left edge, high in this place in the net, watch. Here, for example, normal seven arrow will be here. This is a high one, I'm going to try to reach this. Let's look at the shot, high cut, I see the apex co come, coming down to the, the black line. Let's go. Ball further in my stance, more tilt, we're going to get to this. Wow, I feel great. I stay with my shot no matter what, guys. Let's go. Full backswing and... Wow! Throw to my target. Look at this beauty. <laughs>